thesmartlocal.com Are you excited to explore Gardens by the Bay? Lain kau macam ni siapa? Gardens by the Bay! Gardens by the Bay! Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Hired or Fired. As you guys know, we've filmed so many episodes and it's getting harder and harder to come up with an interesting occupation. So today, we actually got the help of BGC Group, a recruitment firm, and they found me a job at one of Singapore's most famous landmarks, and that is Gardens by the Bay. And I'm going to be a tour ambassador. My first impression of a tour ambassador. Hey, la la la, gather in five, ah. Okay, look at this flower, very beautiful. You know what is it? I also don't know, but never mind. <laughs> so, <laughs> the reason why I choose to act out, right, is because they are always very loud. They are very rah rah. Today, my job is to do exactly whatever I just described. Have a statement piece, be rah rah, and also be very knowledgeable. <laughs> I'm Jax and I'm a senior executive at Gardens by the Bay. I'm part of a frontline team that provides pleasant and enjoyable experience for our visitors. My job scope includes providing frontline service at various touch points in the gardens. Gardens by the Bay is a horticultural theme attraction that provides a garden experience quite unlike any other in Singapore and the world. Hi, I'm Xenia. Hello, I'm Jax and I'm senior executive at Gardens by the Bay. I so see. today, you'll be our tour ambassador and mm. you'll be conducting a tour for 15 to 20 minutes to a group of about 5 to 20 people. So after which, you will be stationed at our, our information counters mm. and then you'll provide information to our visitors who are in need. So before that, I'll have to learn. So let's go! <laughs> Yeah. Hi. I'm Debbie. Hi, nice to meet hi. you. <laughs> I'm from the education team at Gardens by the Bay, mm. basically taking you through the basics of how to conduct a tour of yep. the floral display. Is it difficult? It's okay. I think you'll get the hang okay. of it. Right now, it's actually our Christmas display that's happening. Yes. It's called Poinsettia Wishes, okay. featuring Disney Tsum So We walked around the exhibit and Debbie really imparted a lot of knowledge to me when it comes to plants, flowers, Christmas, and even Tsum Tsum. So at that moment, it almost felt like, oh my god, I'm going to take an exam that I completely forgot about. So I'm going to just cram all the information in my head And I think she could tell that I was a bit overwhelmed So she was like, don't worry Xenia, there are hints all around Which will help facilitate your tour later Once I heard that, I was like, Aiyya, open book test study for what? Confirm can one lah! Do you feel prepared? Yes, Princeta Poinsetta Emeralis Colorado Spruce Blue Blue, Blue Spruce! <laughs> You'll be given 30 minutes Just try and remember some key facts for each plant Let's go study This is... Flower feel. <laughs> ah, I already forget this one. The trumpet one called what? Uh? This is called the. This is called the Amaryllis. Here you see it's called poinsettia. Right. Where's the where's the where's the hint? Flower petals is actually not the flower petals, it's modified leaves. So the flower is actually in the middle. Boom. Mind blown! This poinsettia wishes, right, has been taken over by Sum Sum. Sum Sum, right? Som Sum. <laughs> so, even though it is cabbage, <laughs> yawning, ha? Huh? Hey, my producer, yawning, oi! For these plants, is their dioecious. The male parts and the female parts grow separately. So, animals and human beings got male and female, right? Plants also have male and female. So, they are all female. I guess. So they they okay. come. Let's move on. Oh my god, it's not easy. I, I think I should just sit down and study first. Okay, leave me alone. Hey, leave me alone. Get it? Leave. Okay, right now, guys, I'm very very nervous with the amount of information I have to squeeze into my little brain. It's a bit difficult lah. Here I am like being all nervous. I can't be myself, you see? I'm not like happy. I'm just like frowning. And here like putu 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 very fast. I'm a how. Hello. <laughs> okay, hi everybody. My name is Xenia. Because of my height and because of the crowd, I'm afraid that you might not be able to spot me. So I'm gonna wear this, okay? Today we are gonna go to Poinsettia Wishes. Okay. So, Poinsettia Wishes, they are invaded by Sum Sum. Do you guys know about Sum Sum? 
Okay, they are like Disney characters but they are in stackable forms. Okay, the first plant you will see here is called Amaryllis. Ama can you see this? This flower is very big. When I started the tour, I basically freaked out. So I just breeze walked the entire tour. It was so fast that my visitors, right, they are very far behind me. And also, I went so fast that I accidentally or intentionally skipped a lot of the flowers because I don't know, I forgot about the facts really. I just want to like get it over and done with. So I just moped my way through. This is also another Christmas tree. What's so different is it has a slightly blue, bluish tone. This is called Colorado Blue Spruce. And once again, it is decorated with a light. It's a feast for your eyes. I feel like the grandma is left out. But I don't know how to explain in Chinese. What is this called? Kalanko? Is it Kalanko or Colorado? Kalanko? Kalanko? Kalanko leaf flower. The red little flowers, they are very pretty, right? These are called Kalanko. When it comes to winter, for countries that enjoy the four different seasons, think of it as like a very low maintenance friend. This flower grow in dry conditions? Can. Dr grow in uh, less humidity condition? Can also. This blooms in winter in such a beautiful colour. So it's red, it's white. So we can see the white one right in front. Oh my god, I'm stumbling on my words. Hmm, okay, what are the plant? What are the plant, 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 plant? This is called Poinsettia Red Glitter. So it comes with, comes in a lot of different colour and shapes. Is it shapes? It comes from a lot of different shapes. I don't know, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour as much as I had giving. It's actually my first time. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! See, he's a tour guide, I'm right? A tour guide, yeah, a tour guide yeah, for yeah, two years. I'm, and then I'm, he said, I'm good eh! Yeah, you're good. You did the basic things that needed to be done. Yeah. I really like you. Ayo! So, how was the tour for you guys? It was fun, actually. <laughs> Her tour was pretty good. I could tell she was nervous sometimes, but she continued on. Uh, maybe she needs a bit more practice. <laughs> so after the first tour, I know for sure I am going to be nervous. So I set three goals for myself for the next one, and that is number one, mask my nervousness. I have this nervous laughter. I'm so nervous. <laughs> so I gotta fake it till I make it, okay? And secondly is make sure that the tour I'm giving is like a two-way communication instead of me just giving them a lecture about Christmas, about flowers, which is boring. And number three, that is to make sure that everyone is included when I walk. I make sure that I hand signal because for some reason, people really don't follow you when you walk. Okay, hi! Hi everyone! And I'm Xenia. I'm going to be your tour ambassador because I'm quite short. So I'm going to put this on, okay? So you can laugh at me, yes? I want you to be happy. Come follow me. We are celebrating Christmas with the adorable Sum Sum. Your daughter is going to like it. Do you guys know Sum Sum? Yes. Name me one Sum Sum character. Mickey Mouse. Yes, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse! Yes, you got it. Not copying her at all. When is Christmas? Yes. Very smart! Yay! High five! Okay, 25th. Ouch! So today, this tour, I'll provide you information and you'll understand the meaning behind why the Christmas tree even exists. This is actually called poinsettia. It is a symbol for Christmas. So when people see it, they know that Christmas is coming. And it is very pretty. It is in a very intense red colour. Then we also have this. This is very similar to which plant? Yes, poinsettia. So this is called prinsettia. How you differentiate it is, this is slightly smaller and the colour is also different. So you can spot it for yourself and then you tell me if you can spot it. I'll give you another high five, but you cannot slap my palm, okay? <laughs> How do you guys spend your Christmas? Uh, we go on holiday. Ah, oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> like where? Uh, we go to Sri Lanka because oh, that's wow. where our grandparents are from. Oh, so yeah. cute! Okay, so, so what do you do there? We have dinners. Okay, Th this is always nice. Okay. Wait, uh, let's have everybody. Yeah, we can take a few pictures. But you must have me included. Just now, Joel was sharing with me uh, how she celebrates Christmas and she says she will go to Sri Lanka and have like a family dinner. And it's, it's a very warm feeling knowing that, hey, you can sit around with your loved ones. So, I'm ending my tour by introducing to you a small flower but it's very pretty. It's called British Rose. Just a quick test, do you watch Powerpuff Girls? I've seen the five Okay, so when I say Blossom, Buttercup, who else am I missing? Eh, no, Blossom, Bubbles, who else am I missing? I gave you a hint. 
No. Yes, buttercup. It belongs to the buttercup family. So if you can see, there there is a white one here. There's also a green one here. And they also bloom during winter through to spring. Thank you so much for um, joining me on this tour. Merry Christmas, thank you. <laughs> Go ahead and take pictures. You want to take pictures with me also can. Uh, I think she was very good. She wasn't as nervous and she knew a lot about the different plants. And she was very engaging. Like my little cousins really <laughs> liked her a lot. So it's the end of my second tour and I feel a little bit more confident. It's still difficult eh? as a tour ambassador, even when you are like rah-rah, their response might not be what you envision. You would imagine asking them a question is very easy to answer, but some of them really just like too shy to answer. You have to like improv from there. I think that I'm still a newbie. Okay, Debbie, so I'm done with my first and second great. tour of the yeah. day. How do you think I did? There was a great improvement. During the first tour, you were a lot more nervous. Casey, it's a little bit Plus. off. For the second tour, you really managed to incorporate a lot more content. You shared the information a lot more confidently. You added a lot of personal touches, so you tried to engage. You could tell from their faces that they really enjoyed the tour. Yeah, right? Really? You bring a lot of energy and passion and excitement. So mm. I would say you did a really great job. Yay! Yeah. So for the next job, we'll have you stationed at the visitor information counter. Okay, let's go! <laughs> So are you ready for your second role? Yes! So you're going to be our visitor information associate. Mm. So over here you need to be able to answer general inquiries. Okay, let's go! So this is one of our information counters here. Mm. And let's grab a map to help you learn more about Garden Spider. -Man. Okay, sure. For people who know me, right, I'm really very bad at directions. I'm guessing we are somewhere here. Shutter, stop, mm, no. drop off. Not exactly. Yep. So this is how lost I am most of the time here in Singapore. And it's crazy because instead of asking for directions, now I'm supposed to be the one giving directions. For Jax, his standard is really high. He wants me to give very specific instructions to be like, okay, if you want to go satay to the bay, right? Satay to the bay? Satay by the bay? You see, cannot say wrong also. You need to go straight. It's a seven to nine minutes walk and then you will see a bridge and then you cross and then on your left you'll see something and then you go to your right. I'll have to try to do that. So besides this, what else do I have to learn? We are going to teach you how to assist our visitors to use the mobile charging station. So I will see that everything went well until... Hey! Oh my god! You can put your device. Anybody... <laughs> <laughs> Be gentle <laughs> with the equipment. <laughs> okay? Okay, I'm gonna start my one hour shift and I am super well prepared. Whenever they ask me, right, I'm gonna pull out one relevant one. So you want the map? It's my tactic. Since I don't have the information, I'll be resourceful. <laughs> eh? What the? So much for being resourceful. Do you need help? Uh, yeah, I wanted to know about the Christmas thing. Ah, yes. Yeah. Christmas Wonderland is here. So Where should I get the ticket? You can go straight and then on your left side you should see a ticketing counter. Okay, Pasamalam? The Pasamalam, the Sate by the Bay, is yeah, it? Ah, uh, Sate by the Bay, a bit far, but you walk straight, you will see a bridge. You cross the bridge, right? Seven to ten minutes walk. Okay. Thank okay? You, no problem. Bye bye. Oh yeah, no way, no way. She asked Pasamalam, right? I'm guessing it's more likely she meant the food stalls inside Christmas Wonderland. Oh! Yeah, so you direct opposite direction. Oh, okay, wait, so Christmas Wonderland. <laughs> What's a malam? Mm. Oh, for the last time, I'm gonna hold this. Hi, can I help you? Do you have a brochure or something? Yeah, sure. You want the map? Yeah. yeah, this is the map. Well, I'm not informative, but I'm resourceful. You, you want to see the lights? Okay. What is the, what they is last the best about 12 minutes. place to see it? I the think lights. From from this bridge, no? Yeah. Okay, um, maybe I'll have to rope in my colleague. He's more experienced to help you. <laughs> you can consider going to this circular lawn. This okay. is a very good spot for you to sit down and relax and have a nice view of the light show. Oh, so thank you very much. Mm -hmm. No problem. Bye-bye. So the first part of my shift was me getting approached by visitors who are lost and have questions for me. So I set an aim. I wanted to take more initiative and approach them instead. Hi, do you need help? Where? Uh, uh, no, I, I thought you need help. Oh. <laughs> Hi, do you need help? The one? You want some brochures? I should. Okay. It's Sum Sum. Okay. 
，耶！啊，你看，你看，有嘎咚就要了啊！耶！哎，多安啊 ，OK， 多收片。Are you excited to explore Gardens by the Bay？ 来，跟我讲一下 Gardens by the Bay。Wow, very good！ 啊啊 ，You must see the zoom zoom. You come ten times, never see the zoom zoom. Ah, then you walk away now. If you go ten times, I'll be worried. You are so young, eh? It's okay. When you grow older, then you will reach ten times. Okay. Okay. Nice. Old people don't like to say bye. Young people also don't like to say bye. Okay. So I'm done with my shift. How do you find me as a visitor information associate? Hmm. I think not too bad. Not too bad, only. Three months only. Okay. Never mind. What about overall? Because you've seen me try being a tour ambassador and also a visitor information associate here at Gardens by the Bay. Can you describe me in two words? Enthusiastic. Okay. Hardworking. Oh, I was expecting like pretty or something. Oh, but it's fine. You really put in a lot of effort to study the content. You achieve quite a feat. Then how can that be not too bad? Mm. That is very very good. I think because we didn't have enough time, so we only had a day together. Okay. I was about to say for the first time, not as nervous asking him that important question. But now after he say not too bad, and then he tell me what I need to work on, now I'm a bit nervous already. But never mind. Time for the important question. Would you? Hire or fire me? Hmm, I would. Oh my god! Hire you? Yeah! Wow! You must be one of my very good actor. Eh? At first, I shy shy just now. Then now, I want to play my feelings. Okay, why would you hire me? You are very enthusiastic when you approach visitors. You okay. make them very happy. You answer questions and inquiries to your best knowledge. I feel like that's one thing I took away from you. The whole time, my motto is "fake it till you make it." But for this, right, it concerns the experience here. So we should always try our best to be as accurate. I feel like I learn things that I don't even realize as a visitor, mm -hmm. and I had a lot of fun guiding a tour as a tour ambassador. I really feel very happy today. Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoy your time here with us today. Thank Yay! you, Zinia. No problem. But all of this wouldn't be possible without the help of my recruitment agency, BGC Group. I started by applying to BGC Group online and then met up with my consultant for an interview. After which, I was shortlisted and in just one week, I'm here working as a tour ambassador at Gardens by the Bay. The entire process was really simple, fuss-free and efficient. And they really found a job that suits my personality. If you want to know more about VGC Group, you can find more information in the description box below. For students looking for temporary jobs during your holidays, this is your chance. And don't forget to refer to your friends and families because you get to stand a chance to win up to $50 cash vouchers if they are successfully hired. Don't say about you, ah. Thank you for watching yet another episode of Hired or Fired. If you like this video, remember to like, share, subscribe, and watch our other videos there. Correct? There. Sorry! <laughs> <laughs>